The Academy, since its establishment in 1959, has had to share the premises of the Center for Scientific and Industrial Research. President Mahama, however, cut sought for work to begin in October 2012, with the Academy set to have its own offices by December 2014. The President, ahead of the inspection tour, held discussions with the with leadership of the academy, including Professor Kofi Anyedoho, Professor Kila Pasoya, and Professor Jimambedu Akosa. Honorary Secretary of the Academy, who doubles as the project consultant, explains the edifice will have, among others, a 400-seater auditorium and restaurants that will be available for public use and for social events. Definitely. Everything we have to do, we have to go outside and rent facilities. Most of the time we go to the British Council, sometimes to the University of Ghana. Now we have our own auditorium, but we want this place to be accessible to the public also. It's more to do with making sure that a government provided building is also accessible to members of the public. More importantly, it will help us to reduce our own demand on government because you pay something for the use of the facility. Government is giving every department an ultimatum that you should generate a certain percentage of your expenditure. And if you don't do that, you will be in a difficult position. The absence of appropriate office facilities has been blamed for the seeming minimal impact of the Academy on national development. The auditorium is expected to be completed by April 2014 and the entire secretariat by December the same year. For Joy News, Gifty Andoapia, Accra.